This Olympics incident has been all over the internet. It's been all over the news as well. Further mockery about Christianity. And I believe that a lot of people are waking up to the fact that there are evil forces that run this world that hate our God because he's the only true God. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further Without ado, let's get into it. Paris just experienced a massive power outage one day after mocking Christianity at the Olympics by recreating the Last Supper with men dressed in drag. At this year's Olympics, the opening ceremony featured a woman portraying Jesus with drag queens around her portraying the disciples, which sparked massive controversy worldwide for the obvious blasphemy that occurred. The Olympics also featured other satanic imagery to mock the Bible, such as worshiping a golden calf in reference to Exodus 32:4, as well as featuring the apocalyptic pale horse of death in Revelation 6:8. There was even a demonic looking scene of a decapitated talking woman which disturbed a lot of viewers. The organizer of these anti-Christian themes goes by the name of Thomas Jolly, a Talmudic Satanist who has also been under fire for orchestrating the performances. However, God quickly judged the city of Paris just one day after, with a blackout hitting the entire city except for one church known as the Sacre Cour Basilica. Many people refer to this incident as a divine judgment from God after mocking his name. The Bible continues to prove itself true because the book of Galatians makes it clear you will reap what you sow. And God is most definitely not mocked. In the grand scheme of things, anything can be used for God's glory. Because to witness the tangible evidence of the divine judgment of God may lead some people who are on the fence into repentance and relationship with him. Let's read the Bible verse in Galatians that addresses this. Galatians 6-7 says, Do not be deceived, God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. God is rich in mercy and slow to anger. However, there does come a point in time where he will no longer tolerate the blasphemy of his word as well as his son, Jesus Christ. Let this be a reminder that sin has consequences and there is a God in heaven who sees the actions of every human being. These satanic people who govern world affairs are in for a very rude awakening when they meet their maker. Not only did the Olympics receive divine spiritual judgment from God, but they're also receiving judgment in the natural realm as well. Because tons of sponsors and advertisers are pulling out of the Olympics, which is losing them a lot of money. And this was very surprising to me because people at the top with a lot of wealth and influence usually tend to hate the things of Christ, but this goes to show you God's sovereignty once again. It's incidents like this that actually led to my salvation because just a couple years ago, I was a God-hating atheist who borderline dabbled into Satanism until I woke up to the fact that the Satanic agenda is real and the high and powerful elite actually worship Satan and get real power from it, which opened up my mind to the things of Jesus Christ and ultimately led me into a relationship with him where I gave my life to Christ, repented of my sin, and experienced the tangible presence of the Holy Spirit. So I hope other people would wake up to this incident in the same way I did a couple of years ago, because if that allows them to seek Jesus and experience his tangible love, then God was still glorified in the midst of this satanic blasphemy. When I experienced the tangible love of God, it was the best thing to ever happen to me, and it was because of satanic stuff like this. The gospel was preached to me in a very unorthodox way, because I wasn't preached to at all. I just saw the demonic depravity of the world, and I realized that God has to be real. And the demonic depravity of the world preaches in its own way, because it leads to the fact that there is a Savior and his name is Jesus Christ. You can't have an opposing force of evil without an opposing force of good. And there is a source for both forces. The source of evil is the devil, and the source of good is Jesus Christ. And ultimately, this Olympics incident points to the fact that Jesus Christ is real, and there are very powerful people that hate him. But if they take him seriously, then we need to take him seriously as well. And we need to repent and give our lives to him before it's too late, because he's calling everybody home into his eternal kingdom. So the question is, will you see this stuff and brush it off, or will you realize that God is calling you home. Because trust me, he is calling you home. God wants a relationship with you. And he'll allow demonic stuff like this just to show you that he's real and he loves you. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I want you to comment down below, Jesus Christ is real. If you guys want to financially sow into the ministry, I have an offering link that's in the description. And I also have merch you can buy, which is also linked in the description. Or if you want to become a member here on the YouTube channel, I have a program you can enroll in where you get certain perks on the YouTube channel. I'll see you guys very soon for another video video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out.